All right, hey everybody, so welcome to another After We Collided movie video. Now today's video is talking about the fact that there is the potential of the movie bringing back elements of the original bet from the books. Now at the end of the first movie, it is revealed that Hardin uh, dared himself to actually make Tessa fall in love with him and then turn it off like that. And that is the big reveal at the end of the first movie. But in the books, it's actually a little bit more complicated than that and actually a little bit more of a gut punch than that. In the original books, it's actually a bet between Hardin and Zed as to who can take Tessa's virginity first. And when Hardin wins, uh, he shows his friends the bloody sheets. Now, the bloody sheets are never going to be in the film in a million years because Anna Todd has said that if she could go back in time, she would take out the bloody sheets. She hates the bloody sheets as much as we do. Uh, she regrets the bloody sheets as much as we regret reading it. Um, so yeah, but the reason why a lot of fans, including myself, are talking about this is because a video was posted on imdb.com called After We Collided, What Do We Know So Far? Now, I originally was not going to talk about this. I originally was not going to say anything about this because there are plenty of inaccuracies all throughout the video, including what you're about to hear when I actually show you guys the part of the video uh, that, you know, is kind of, you know, even putting the, the little nugget of potential of them bringing back the original bet elements. They even say some wrong things here. Uh, but Anna Todd and the After Movie Twitter account, the After Movie Twitter account retweeted the imdb.com video and Anna Todd put it on her Facebook page, lending credibility to the video and lending credibility to the fact that there could potentially, they could potentially be bringing back elements of the original bet to put into the second movie. Now there is a way that they could actually make this work because I know like a lot of you are scratching your head and wondering how could they make this work. So let's go ahead and take a look at this portion of the video and then we'll talk about exactly how they can pull this off. The second novel also reveals that there's more to the truth or dare drama. Tessa discovers the bet was really to take her virginity. So whatever hope Hessa had to reunite seems lost once more. Complicating their reconciliation attempt is the introduction of... The second novel also reveals that there's more to the truth or dare drama. Tessa discovers the bet was really to take her virginity. So whatever hope Hessa had to reunite seems lost once more. Compli All right. So you might be wondering just how the hell could they bring back... Um, elements from the original bet like how could they make this work i mean you i mean they kind of you know did this whole big reveal at the end of the first movie like how could they potentially even do this well if you've read the books you know that there is a very famous sequence in the books called or what the fans know as the nine days where hessa actually separate or get into like this big fight and then separate for nine days where harding goes back to london and tessa you know goes off and does her thing and so one of the ways that they could potentially bring this theme back into the films is to actually make that the catalyst for the nine days. And that would actually land a more emotional gut punch than simply making the nine days about Tessa saying a man's name in her sleep that is not Hardin. Um, so, yeah, so what I could potentially see happening and what I could potentially see the big reveal happening is that Molly actually held back a portion of the video that when they do the New Year's Eve party sequence where Tessa, you know, tackles Molly to the ground and starts wailing on her, Molly could actually reveal that, oh, there's a portion of this video that I have not shown you, which shows, you know, Harden being bedded as to, you know, um, you know, if he could take Tessa's virginity or not. And that could be the catalyst for the nine days. And that could be the jumping off point for the nine days. So that's exactly how they could actually bring this, the original elements of the book back into the film. Because if you remember correctly, in the first film, Molly asks Tessa during the Truth or Dare game, are you a virgin? Which that seems to be setting up the big reveal at the very end um, for the big, you know, bet reveal that, you know, they're actually making a bet as to who can take Tessa's virginity first, Harden or Zed. And so this is a way that they could actually do it and actually make that line actually make sense is by saying that, oh, by the way, Molly actually held back a portion of the video. And so, um, you know, like that could also be a reason why, you know, Tessa, you know, lunges across the table and, you know, starts wailing on Molly. 
uh, but that could also be the major jumping off point for the nine days. And now I know a lot of you are going to have a lot of a lot of thoughts on this. I know a lot of you have a lot of thoughts on the fact that they could potentially be bringing back original bet elements. So go ahead and jump down to the comment section below. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued love and support. As always, remember, if you like what you see here and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's go through all the stuff you'll be able to find on this channel right now. So every day I'll be doing daily uploads of the read-throughs where I literally go through different books and read to you guys page by page, chapter by chapter. All seven books of the After series by Anna Todd are now on the channel to their completion. I'm finishing up It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, and then I will start the Gabriel series by It Ends With by uh, the Gabriel series by Sylvain Renard, and these will be daily uploads barring any types of personal illnesses or issues. Now that we have the official green light of the After We Collided movie, I'm going to be bringing you guys constant, constant, constant updates on that, so keep looking forward to that. You guys are going to be so updated that you'll be begging me to stop the updates. And those updates are also going to cover After We Fell and After For Happy. So once we get a green light on those two films, I'll also be bringing you guys constant updates on those as well. Every other day, I'll be doing different topics that come up in the After Fandom. So if there's a topic out there that you guys want to see me talk about, go ahead and either leave it down in the comments, or you can find me on either Twitter, email, or my Facebook. All the relevant information is on the About section of the channel. As always, remember, this channel would not be able to grow to the heights that it has without you guys, and so for that, I'm eternally grateful. You know and I know there are plenty of After fans, old and new, who have no idea that this channel exists, so keep sharing the channel. Keep spreading the word of Charleston Movie Channel, because this is easily going to be one of the best After Series channels that you'll find right here on YouTube, or dare I say anywhere. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep subscribing, keep sharing. My name is Charles. Welcome to the After Series channel. I'll see you later, After fans, After Naders. Take care, y'all. Love you.